If you're new to Ecamm Live and want an overview of its features, then you're in the right place. That's what's coming up. Hello and welcome to Take One Tech. My name's Alec. And in this video, I'm just going to give you an, a rundown basically of the features and the sort of user interface, if you like, of Ecamm Live. Now, this is actually part of a much larger video that I did. In fact, a mammoth four and a half hour tutorial, start to finish of how to get going with Ecamm Live. Uh, but what I'm doing is I'm breaking it down into smaller steps uh, for those that don't want to sit through four and a half hours in one go. So this is going to be the uh, section all about the introduction to Ecamm Live and exactly what it is and the interface, as I said. And so, yeah, I'm going to cut over to that and then I'll be back after that little extract and I'll uh, speak to you shortly. Enjoy the video. Let's get on to the intro to Ecamm and exactly what is it? Well, it's probably easiest if I just share my screen now so that you can see what I'm looking at because this is the sort of interface that I'm working in in order to uh, do what I'm doing right now. <laughs> so here we go. Let me just uh, got my boom arm in the way of my stream deck so I can't see where my buttons are. Right, so here we go. I'll share my screen. So now you can see what I'm looking at. I've got my window, which is what is being recorded. Uh, and you can see there it's been recording and I've got a few other controls on the window itself and then I've got these different uh, panels. Now uh, we'll start with over here we've got a scenes panel so uh, let me just start this other thing up here here we go so over here we have the scenes panel this is where we've got all the different scenes in our production so here we've got my main view and then I can change to a uh, slightly zoomed view so you can see that this is a, a different scene exactly the same but just zoomed in and out and I'm switching between those here uh, I've got another one which is my uh, top-down shot for example the one that I showed you so that in itself you can see here the output and we've gone down to my top-down shot uh, I've got various different uh, different scenes so that's what a scene is it's just a different uh, sort of viewpoint if you like that you want to put into your production now as we're in this particular view, this is a good example of overlays. So that is the next uh, one here is overlays. And by the way, there looks to be a lot of uh, scenes in here. You don't need all of these scenes. You can certainly make a very good production with a far fewer. And uh, uh, these are just the ones that I use. But if it looks complicated, it's because there's just multiple copies of the same thing with slight differences. So it's nothing to uh, nothing to worry about. And in fact, let me just pop these out of the way. There we go. That looks a lot better already, doesn't it? <laughs> so then in the overlays, it's the same situation. We've got lots of different overlays and overlays are basically things like this. So if I uh, come and drag this one out of the way, I'll put it locked. I'll talk about locking overlays and scenes after because it's uh, very important so that you don't make a make a mess of all of your hard work. So what you can see here is we've got this camera, my top down shot with all of my uh, my notes and we've got my little camera picture in here and then we've got this sort of frame thing around it. Well that is this uh, frame here. So you can see how I've got that and that is an overlay, that's a picture overlay. Uh, so let me put that back and I'll just lock it before I uh, mess it up any further. Now an example of a uh, picture overlay uh, uh, or an animated overlay rather would be something like uh, this one that I'm going to put at the bottom. So that thing that's just popped up there with the like, subscribe and turn on notifications. A uh, great cue for me to say <laughs> if you're liking this video go down and hit that uh, like button and uh, yeah subscribe to get links to uh, any new uh, or be notified rather for any new content I make. Okay, so that is what uh, the scenes are. So that was an animated overlay, sorry, overlays. That was an animated overlay we just saw. We've seen the graphic overlays. And then you've also got uh, music and video that you can add in as well. So that is the overlays. So if I just uh, hide some of these again, I want to make this look as simple as possible because uh, yeah, it don't need to be overly complicated from the beginning. In fact, if I just change to that scene, there we go. Uh, it's just popped open all of these again. So there we go. Uh, normally when you start Ecamm Live, you'll just have a completely blank scenes panel and a completely blank overlays panel. Uh, next one is camera effects. So this is where we're going to change the uh, anything that's going on with the camera. So at the moment, I've just got my main camera in. I'll show you how to set up different cameras and things afterwards. Uh, but here we can see we've got some controls. So I can control some of the picture settings, brightness and things like that. And then I can also control uh, the green screen. So, uh, yeah, sorry to break the illusion, but uh, if I just unlock this scene, uh, I can show you what my actual background is. 
So there we go. I'm just in front of a green screen and I've got a, uh, a background, but the uh, you do have some adjustment over the uh, the sense, sort of sensitivity, if you like, of the uh, the green screen. Uh, but I found with a properly lit green screen, it is um, it's easy to, uh, to to do in Ecamm Live. So previously I was coming from OBS. I didn't use it extensively, but I was looking for a particular software package to uh, to do some video production work in. And I went down the OBS route initially, but then just found that it couldn't quite handle some of the things I was wanting to do on my slightly aging computer and uh, gave Ecamm Live a go. And it was a, well, a breath of fresh air, really. It's, um, yeah, the, the user interface is far more user-friendly. And I'm a tech guy, you know, I like digging into pieces of software, no matter how complex they may be, uh, but there's no need to overcomplicate something which can be made very simple. And that uh, seems to be what Ecamm Live has done with this sort of video production program. Uh, so, uh, so yes, it's a lot easier to set up green screen in Ecamm Live than it is in, uh, in OBS. And it's literally just a toggle of a button. There is a few things you can do to improve your green screen results. And I did actually do a video about uh, this. In fact, I could just show you that. So green screen tips. And that was my sort of five tips for how you can basically get better results out of your green screen because they can look pretty bad if they're not done correctly. And you can judge for yourself whether you think this is any uh, any good or not as a green screen. But uh, yeah, that video up in the uh, top corner will uh, will help you with that. Oh, incidentally, you can see that that was just a little overlay. That was an image overlay that I'm toggling on and off. And then actually adding the link into the description is something you do in YouTube itself. And uh, I'll show you how to do that after as well, if you want. Uh, that was uh, the, uh, the camera effects. This is where you can make all different adjustments. The next panel that we have is sound. So here is where you can add in sounds. So for example, my uh, intro music like this is coming in here. And uh, yeah, this is where you can have all your different uh, music or sound effects or things like that. And then finally, you've got this panel down here, which is the uh, sound level. So you can see my level and then the, uh, the mo movie, which is actually the, uh, the music level. Oh, sorry, the sound effect is the uh, level of that music you've just heard. Uh, movies, obviously, if you have any movie uh, movies embedded in the, in the scene, but I'll show you how to do that a bit later as well. Uh, I said finally, but there is actually some other panels. So there is the comments section over here. So this is if you're actually on a live stream, then any comments will pop up in here. And actually what you're able to do, which uh, I can't actually demonstrate because I'm not live, but the comments that come up, you just click on them and whatever comment you've clicked on will appear in the uh, in the window. And uh, there is actually another one which doesn't have a toggle. So by the way, all of these little panels have got a button down the side that you can toggle them on and off with. So this is for the overlays, this one for the audio, this one for the camera effects and the music and the chat window. Uh, there's another one which is available in a uh, pro version, which is for uh, interview mode. And that allows you to actually bring somebody else into your stream or recording. So you send them a link and they click on the link and then they, they can join uh, from the, uh, the browser and then they'll have their picture in your, your uh, production as well. Uh, so that's uh, that one. So if I just hide that one a second. Uh, so I'm going to hide the comments and that one because we don't really need that for the moment. Uh, the next one down at the bottom here, the little cogwheel, is the Ecamm Live preferences. I won't go through all of these preferences uh, or any of them, in fact, uh, because I think that's probably something for another video. Uh, I just want to go through the actual setup procedure. But when I do do that video, I'll uh, link that one in uh, the description of this video as well so that you can uh, you can get to it. One other window which doesn't actually have a button in here. Oh, sorry, I forgot this one as well. The uh, scenes tab. So if we've got the scenes closed down and you ever want to get to it, here is where you can flick between your scenes from in the window. But then I'm just going to click on here, show scenes. And you can see that that scenes thing pops back up there. So one other window which isn't shown, uh, which is quite a handy one to have if you are streaming, if you click in window, you can also see all these different windows that I've just opened here, but this bandwidth statistics. So when you're streaming live, you can actually see the uh, bandwidth usage as well. 
I hope you found that useful and if you did then don't forget to go down and like and subscribe and turn on those notifications so that you get alerted anytime I make any new content and also don't forget that all of the uh, icon packs and templates and things like that that I've talked about in these videos are available as a free download from my website so simply head on over to takeonetech.io and there you'll be able to see at the top of the page there is a link to the actual full tutorial that this is an extract from uh, but also just below that you'll see that there is a uh, area where you can download that full icon pack and template pack and make it your own so uh, yes that's the place to go and also that's the place to go if you want to contact me as well that's the easiest place there's a contact page on that uh, website but also you'll notice just down in the uh, bottom right hand corner there's also a little chat box you can always get in touch with me that way Incidentally, if you're not already using it, then uh, this whole video has been produced with Ecamm Live and uh, it's the uh, my video editor, uh, my video production environment, should I say, of choice. Uh, certainly better than what I was using before OBS. And so, <laughs> yeah, it's uh, highly recommended. It certainly made my life a lot easier. And yeah, if you head over to takeonetech.io slash Ecamm, then there you can get a free trial and try it out for yourself and see what all the fuss is about. Well, that's about all for now, but as I said, this is actually an extract from a much larger four and a half hour tutorial that I did, which will take you from zero to a full production uh, setup in Ecamm Live, including obviously all of the overlays and transitions and things like that, and uh, linking it to your Stream Deck and designing all of your Stream Deck icons and all of that business everything that you need to get going with your video production and streaming. So uh, I'll link to that video uh, down below as well, or you can just go and find it on the top of my uh, web page as well. But for now, that's all from me, and I'll link to some of the other videos uh, from that tutorial also uh, to the right-hand side. And until the next video, have an absolutely wonderful day.